What is going on, guys? Welcome to Brad's Parlay of the Day. Today, I got a three-layer parlay for Wednesday, March 6, 2024. Here at PitDogs, we got the most repeat videos out of anyone, so click that subscribe button. Drop a like. It helps us out a lot. If you guys want the picks like the best, picks like the most, picks that I bet myself personally, go to PitDogs.com. Click the print pick section. Or click the link in the description of this video. You'll find all my plays there. All righty, man. Hope everyone's having a good Tuesday. That's when I'm recording this. But this is a Wednesday parlay, and we got a good, good slate. I mean, these college basketball slates are starting to get filthy. Uh, with these these you know smaller conference tournaments about to go on, I I love the conference tournament part of March Madness. The the main tournament's great, but one of my favorite parts is just these conference tournament games, especially with these smaller schools because man they're they're fighting for their lives. They're putting everything they have on the court just to keep their season going. So I love it. Uh, with that being said, though, let's get right into this parlay. I know this is what you guys are here for. Um, let me pull up my notes. I got some notes here. Leg one. Oh yeah, and how I do these parlays if you're new to the channel, if you're looking for uh, or new to this, these videos, if you're looking for a lottery ticket parlay, this is not the video for you. I basically pick three money lines, um, even if they're fat favorites and we parlay them up. As long as they're over even odds, I give it out. I like to see them go through the hoop. You know, I'm not here for lottery tickets. So uh, leg one, Houston versus UCF. We're going to take Houston on the money line. I think this is a good spot for them. Um, Houston is the number one team in the nation for a reason. People ask me who I think is going to win it all. I, I I want to say Houston, man. I, I think I think it's time one of these schools that are you know suspected to win it all actually do. And Houston's been an absolute wagon this season. Uh, I don't care that this game's on the road. These teams played er, earlier this season, and UCF UCF only put up forty two points. Uh, this this Houston defense is just too sturdy. I don't see how UCF is able to get on any runs in this in this type of game. I think they're favored by eight points while I'm recording this. I'm just going to do it on the money line. I think it's like minus 350. So I feel like it's a safe play. I don't I don't see Houston taking an L to this UCF team. I think it's just a bad mismatch. Next, I'm looking at a match between Lakers versus Kings. Whenever LeBron's three-point line is at one and a half, I like to take the over. Uh, so give me over one and a half threes for LeBron. I think it's like minus 165 right now. I think that's a, that's a pretty decent price tag. Um, he's getting at least two threes and 71% of his games this season, and he's gotten two threes in eight of his last ten games. Uh, the Kings also allow the third best uh, per, uh, three-point percentage to opposing teams. So when teams play the Kings, they are typically very successful from uh, from the three-point line. They don't; they're not like dead last in teams making threes against them. But when it comes to a three-point percentage, they are dead last in the league. So I think LeBron hits two threes here. Um, I think it's a good spot for him. Next, look at this match between OKC versus the Trailblazers. I'm going to take OKC first half money line. The reason I'm taking first half because, I mean, they're an 11-point favorite. I mean, those those money line odds are a little too fat. You know, I'll throw a big favorite out there, but 11 and a half is just ridiculous. So just to cap down the odds, I'm going to do uh, first half. It, I mean, we basically have the best. I mean, I, I really don't need to sell this one. I really don't need to sell this one too much. We have the best uh, team out in the West when it comes to a record-wise against the second-worst team in the Trailblazers. Uh, Trailblazers are garbage. And the thing about the NBA, you know, any team could win on any given night. But the thing about this Thunder team, they do their job. They don't play down to their competition. You know, we saw, it was like a month ago, we saw, like, the Bucks lose to uh, or the Trailblazers. Which, like, the Bucks are a team, it's like, yes, they should win night in, night out, but they would get surprised here and there. OKC is not one of those teams. They did lose to the Spurs a couple games ago. They did do that. But um, I have trust in the Thunder. They've been helping me win money all season long. So I think they'll be up by the uh, in the first half. Ah, oh, my back hurts. Ugh. All right. Let's recap this parlay, man. Houston versus UCF. Give me Houston on the money line. Late two, Lakers versus Kings. Give me uh, Lakers over one and a half three-pointers. Late three, OKC versus the Trailblazers. Give me uh, OKC first half money line. I appreciate you guys watching this, man. I feel good about this parlay. Should hit. I mean, each, each, those three plays should should goddamn hit, you know? Uh, but yeah, I appreciate you guys watching this. If you want to follow my Instagram, or if you want to follow my handicap career more close, you can follow me on Instagram. I post my wins and losses on there. Uh, my pit dogs content, other free picks, it all funnels back into there. But most importantly, subscribe to pit dogs on YouTube because we're just trying to help you guys with some money. I'll catch you guys tomorrow.